Hello friends, welcome to my new blog series on building AI agent driven solutions to support ERP and SaaS application. In this series, we are going to work on some very cool latest open source technologies. I'm sure you must have heard about DeepSeek R1 models. You might also be familiar with Meta Llama models. In this series, we are going to use Microsoft AutoZen 0.4 AI agents framework, which is the latest offering in their AI agents framework technology. Finally, we are going to build AI agents using Microsoft AutoGen AI multi-agents framework on latest open source LLM models, such as what I just mentioned, greatest deep seek R1 models, or you will have a choice Llama 3 series models. You will have a choice to switch between these two and load any of your preferred open source LLM models. So for example, if you want to use OpenAI ChatGPT model, you will be able to do so. You can use any LLM model API of your choice and everything using absolutely 100% local and open source technologies. Within an ERP space, these agents are going to work as a team. These are intelligent, autonomous, scalable, secure, and capable of supporting hundreds of thousands of employees managing millions of documents. And these are going to handle petabytes of data to serve ERP systems. Just to set up the expectation straight, in today's session, I will not write any code and instead we'll just focus on discussing our use case and see a deep dive demo of the application we want to build. In next video, we'll discuss solution design and implementation approach. Please see in this session, still we are not writing any code, but it still is very, very important because having a great thoughtful discussion on our use case, UI, user experience and solution design pattern is actually half the work done. So please don't skip it and watch it till the end. So that next block, when we write the actual code, it will be easier to understand. These are the topics what you're seeing on my screen we are going to cover in this block today. And as I said, in next video, we'll write the actual code. So what's our objective? Why we are here? So I'll keep it very short and simple. In this block series, we are going to build an AI agent driven ERP solution that's intelligence, autonomous, scalable, secure, and capable of supporting hundreds of thousands of employees managing millions of documents and handling petabytes of data to serve ERP system. Let's see the demo of the product we are building today. First, we will need to understand what this app does and how to build this entire functionality using autonomous AI agents. So this is the final version of the application we built in the past. As you can see in this screen, user is able to upload a document. And as soon as this document is loaded, a backend process calls our vision OCR AI, what we build using various packages. And what that OCI engine does, it read the text content from this file. At this point, you might be wondering why to build an OCR vision AI. So let's start a very simple example. Imagine you have an image you want to scan. Most smartphones today can easily extract text from images. So we don't need to reinvent the wheel for basic tasks like this. But what if you have thousands of thousands of documents? So here where things get interesting, if you're dealing with thousands of different types of images and documents, you need an OCR engine like system that can automate the process of reading all these files without human intervention. So, and what's next after OCR? Once your OCR process the documents, the data should be stored in a live database. This allows you to where, first of all, store the data and build, build generative AI technologies to analyze the data. But it means then you're going to deliver meaningful results through an interface like a chatbot. So our approach is we are not building vision AI from scratch. Instead, in this series, we'll use existing technologies to streamline the process. And then we are going to automate the capturing and reading of documents, store the results in a live database, connect it all together in a chatbot for, for seamless user interaction. Now this setup is designed to scale, scale effortlessly, handling thousands of documents with ease. So let's dive in and see how it is done. Now let's say you have an image uploaded, which is not PDF. It could be a JPEG, PNG, or GIF, or any uh, other format other than PDF. So in this case, we want to build an AI agent system, which is smart enough to use appropriate tools such as PyPDF, Tesseract, or Vision AI models to read the content of uploaded file. And then after, you want to build another set of tools to upload this text OCR data into Vector and SQL database. In this series, you will see how we are going to build this entire logic using AI agents. This is why knowing AI agents becomes so important when you're working with ERP SaaS application. You can build this entire logic using autonomous AI agents, which are autonomous and scalable. The idea and the final product we are going to build is going to look like a chatbot interface, just like this, what you're seeing on the screen. 
This is an AI agent interface where we implement AI agents framework. We will use AI agent studio and similar chatbot interfaces which user can consume directly. So using this interface, our AI agent chat interface will be enable users to directly chat with PDF or images they upload. This is what we are going to build. This snapshot shows the teams, agents, tools and models behind our vision OAI OCR process. Agent Studio is a web-based interface offering an easy to understand visual representation of our work and is simple to set up. We'll expand this framework to handle more complex ERP tasks later, such as processing invoices, matching them with uh, receipts and payments. So this foundation work we are building in this series is going to support many future sophisticated use cases. As we move forward, building a more advanced ERP solution, you will need to dive deeper using Autogen Agent and Autogen Core to leverage full event-driven programming and distribute AI workloads such as a multi-agent framework. But for now, since this app is very, very straightforward, we are just going to use Agent Studio and Agent Chat. Please keep in mind that this is an intermediate level series. So you will need a basic understanding of ERP systems, generative AI, machine learning, LLM models, Python, SQL, vector databases, PyTorch and transformers. So if you're a beginner, you still don't need to worry about this. Just watch this at a slow pace. And still this series will have a lot to offer you. If you browse to my GitHub repository, you will see some of the very complex business use cases such as building help desk, time and expense, fraud, alert, waste compliance, autoresponder, duplicate invoices, inventory processes for pro systems. So you will see what you will need actually to implement all of this. You will need a detailed analysis, feasibility study and building pro ERP and SaaS application. Actually, it requires extensive business process evaluation, solution design and architecture. So if you're looking for any such implementation, please feel free to connect with me and follow my Twitter account. Now this is a code along series. So we are, we are going to write the entire solution from scratch to automate ERP process. I also have two beginner friendly series for those who want to learn the fundamentals of generative AI and how to create a simple AI application. So if you're looking for beginner friendly tutorials, be sure to check out these two videos. First video is when I build OCR Vision AI using open source technology and second is about using Gen AI RAG uh, tools and how to host build and uh, serve those application. So you can also visit my X profile highlights or you can see my YouTube channel to find these two playlists. So here are the list of the AI agent framework you can use. As you can see, there are various options offered by Microsoft um, technologies like, you know, Autogen Studio, Autogen Chat, Autogen Core, Magentic One, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But for this uh, video and couple of other basic videos, we are just going to use Autogen Studio and Autogen Chat. But for more sophisticated event driven programming as we progress building our pro applications, then we'll have to use Autogen Core. So stay tuned. For a small task, use of tools and functions on Llama or OpenAI models are enough. You don't need an AI agent framework. But once you get into a stage when you have many, many tools and functions to manage, you will realize that using an AI agent framework like Llama Index, Langchain, Crew AI, Artisan, and Swarms are often required. Now to, to decide, spend no more than an hour reading the quick start guides. As you're seeing in the screen for Crew AI, Artisan, Langchain, Llama Index, just an example. So these, all of these frameworks are very easy to begin with. All it takes to read their quick start guide. So here's the trick. How do I decide? I just open the quick start guides of each of this AI agent framework. Choose the one which you want me to immediately open my code editor and start coding. That's the best choice. Don't overthink it. The programming language framework or any logic which pushes you to open code editor is the way you want to go. You might question your decision later, but that's part of being a developer. You learn by doing. So avoid wasting time on videos or opinion. Just pick one and start coding. You will figure out the right fit within few hours. So for my business case, supporting a high performing ERP systems with significant complexity, data volume and frequency, here I choose Autogen. Since my ERP runs on Azure, that's another factor. That's the reason I'm starting with Autogen because it's easier to support within same cloud environment. Now, if I later on, if I feel Langchain or Crew AI, Crew AI would have been a better choice, I'll be happy to refactor this code. It's all part of the process. That's all I wanted to achieve in this block today. I wanted to quickly show you a brief demo of the product we are going to build in this block series and talk about all the approaches. In next block, we are going to discuss a high level solution design pattern and architecture in brief. 
and then we are going to write the actual code so stay tuned thanks for watching